Okay, now. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go. We're in Terlingua, Texas. It is 6.15. Uh, we're gonna try to go back into the park before the sun rises. Hopefully get some good light and then see where we go from there. So to kick things off, we started in Terlingua, Texas. Now we camped there the night before and we wanted to get up before the sun rose so we could get a good sunrise shot. So we headed into the park. For this trip, I had two cameras I wanted to use. Uh, one was my medium format. It's a Fuji GW693, otherwise known as the Texas Leica, which is fitting. So this is a really big camera. It takes six by nine negatives it's just, just a step below large format. It's pretty much meant for landscape photography. However, we went to Big Ben. We knew we only had a day at the park. I was gonna be making this video. Todd was gonna be making another video. We were trying to hit multiple spots across the park. It's a really big park. It's like 700,000 square acres or something like that. So realistically, I didn't have a lot of time between each photos to set up for the type of shot that I wanted. It was really stressful. So that's why I brought my 35, my Pentax K1000. And the night before we left, I actually went to a local camera store to pick up some film and noticed that they had like a $20, 75 to 150 millimeter lens for sale. So I got it. So for our first sunset pick, we were pretty close to what we wanted to take a photo of. So I used the medium format. So I threw it up on the tripod and I waited for the sun to hit it just in the right way for the photo. pretty happy with that photo, uh, but the one I actually liked more was when I turned around with my 35 millimeter. I had Cinestill in the camera at the time, and I took a photo of the mountains behind us. And remember earlier when we were running to try to catch the sunset? Careful, Robbie. That's another good example of how different the photos looked. Not only was I able to use the longer lens on the 35 to get the moon a little bit bigger and get the composition that I wanted. And I wasn't sure that I was even able to get the photo with the 35 because I was in a rush and I couldn't get the tripod. So I think I was shooting at like a 1 25th, but I was zoomed in all the way. How do you feel right now, Logan? Uh, good, I didn't, I wasn't expecting to actually get a decently exposed shot, but if the light meter was reading correctly, uh, it should be okay. It might be a bit grainy, but I think it should be all good. We'll see. On the way to that sunset photo, we actually ran into a wild horse on the road. Holy <laughs> Ouch, bro. Homie, I respect your distance. Should I shout at him? No. There's a horse. That is a wild horse. And then we actually ended up seeing those horses in the following day while I had the Cinestill in the 35. So I was able to get a color shot of them with some mountains in the background. So after the sunrise photo, we headed over to Santa Elena Canyon and that's when the delirium started kicking in. Wait, I, I didn't get a snapshot of that. Well, no, I, okay, okay. Okay, and?
While we were down there, I was able to take two different photos of the sides of the canyon and the valley around it with the Cinestill in the 35 and then the Portra in the medium format. So you can see how different they look. So after we hung out in the canyon a bit, then we headed over to our new campsite to get everything set up before we headed back into the park to get ready for the sunset photo. So for this last spot, I was thinking throughout the whole day about which camera I wanted to focus on because I knew once the light started going down, I wouldn't have much time to change between cameras, trying to meter with the medium format. So I kind of wanted to know what I was gonna be using going into the shoot. So I decided on the 35 millimeter, even though I was gonna be using black and white, uh, specifically Del uh, Ilford Delta 100, that long lens was allowing me to push through these two mountains in the Chisos Basin to get that depth that I wanted. So I set up the tripod and I waited for the shot. So here's what I learned on this trip. If you're gonna be going on these photography trips and you're gonna be shooting film specifically, it doesn't necessarily matter so much that you know what you're going to be shooting, uh, but more so how you're going to be shooting. So for this trip, we were there for a day. We were trying to scramble around the whole park, getting as many cool photos as we could. Using that medium format camera, even though it is really good for landscape photography, was really stressful. Whereas the 35 millimeter uh, was a lot more fun to use because I could just kind of be more in the moment, appreciate my surroundings. I mean, if you're gonna go out in nature, you might as well just enjoy it instead of stressing about, you know, the fact that you've got eight photos on a roll. So just keep in mind how you think you'll be shooting. And with each trip that I go on, I'm kind of figuring out things about myself as a photographer, what I can do, what I like doing on trips, what I like taking photos of. So that's a wrap on Big Bend. We had a lot of fun, took a lot of pictures, got really freaked out, thought there was a bear. I woke everybody up last night. Everybody's tired and mad at me, but hey, that's photography. If you like this video and want to see more film photography related content, let us know in the comments below. Oh my God, my voice <laughs> cracked. Uh, let us know in the comments below and subscribe, tell all your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.